Hey guys, it's Susie Lolly, and I'm back for actually a viewer request video. Who knew I would have viewers who would be requesting anything? Y'all, I just feel so excited. <laughs> Glad I'm able to help. So a couple of different people said, hey, Susie, I made this cute Bitmoji classroom. I want to embed it in Canvas, but I don't know how to do that and make my links work. It gave me a problem to solve. Honestly, I just was occupied with other things and it took me a minute to think about it. But you guys, I have a solution for you. So whether you've created yours in PowerPoint or in Google Slides, I will show you how to embed it there. And let me say this. I would love to do a tutorial on how to create a Bitmoji classroom in PowerPoint, but I don't know if that's needed. Will you let me know in the comments below if you haven't already made yours if you or if you want to transition and make it in PowerPoint? There are lots of resources for it on Google Slides, but I haven't seen any for PowerPoint. So if that video would be useful, I'll make it. If not, you know, don't want to waste time, yours or mine. So just let me know. But let's go ahead and get started with not only how to embed your Bitmoji classroom, but then also some other quick tips for Bitmoji in Canvas. Let's get started. So here I am in a fake course and I have created a page just to demo for you. So I would recommend that if you're going to embed your Bitmoji classroom, you do it on a page just because you have a lot of room to work with. I mean, you could do it at the top of a discussion or a quiz if you wanted to. And if you do that, I'd love to see your creative ideas. I'm just going to start with a page. And over to the right, you're going to see your file upload option. Again, I'm working in a free course, but if you're using a paid course, your link option, when you click it, may now have a thing that says course links. And so if you don't see files over here on the right, if you'll click that and look for course links, then you will see the files option. And so I'm going to have to, first of all, upload my Bitmoji classroom here. Now I'm working in a PowerPoint to start with, but I'll show you how you can turn Google Slides into a PowerPoint to embed beautifully here because Google Slides is by default an online product and we need to get a file that we can upload. So I have already uploaded mine. It's called Bitmoji Classroom, but you would just come down here to upload a new file and you'd be able to do that. So I've already uploaded and I'm going to pull it in. I've actually got this one here. And you're like, womp, womp, Susie, that's really lame. I don't just want a link. Well, watch and stay tuned because <laughs> this quick trick is going to help you actually help your students actually view the document on the page and be able to click it. So what I'm going to do is once I've uploaded the file, I'm going to hover over it or highlight over it, click my link button, and I'm going to just check this box that says auto open the inline preview. When you see a blink, you have a link. So I'm done there and I can save or save and publish. I'm just going to save for now. I'm not ready for anybody to see it. And now when students come to that page, they will see my Bitmoji classroom. Now it will have the little outline bar around it. If you want to try like exporting as a PDF, that would be another way maybe to get around having that little bar there. Um, PDFs do, I think, embed just, you know, as is on Canvas. And so somebody play with that and let me know. But I'm fine with it being in its original form. And so I show, I have a couple different Bitmoji classrooms on here and this little header page I was using for a different purpose. So I'm just gonna ignore that for now. But this link is actually clickable. So if you had links on your whiteboard, maybe an agenda you were working on that day, you'll see that when I hover over it, it becomes a clickable link and it even opens on a separate page. So it would actually take me out to that other Bitmoji classroom that I linked to, or I had a different Bitmoji classroom that links to, guess what? Another one of my videos on my YouTube channel, hint, hint. <laughs> You haven't watched about a strong teacher marriage that's one I made a while ago and so those links are beautifully embedded they do work and all I did was upload the file highlight over it and then use that thing that said let me go back into edit mode the thing that's such a technical term and then all I did was just click right here to auto open the inline preview I want to show you now how to grab if you have a Google Slides document I want to show you how you can download that as well and I'm not capturing my whole screen here, so let's see if you can see enough of what you need to see. Okay, so I'm in also a Google version, which is where I think the Bitmoji Virtual Classroom started. And so if you need to grab this one, you would just first of all file download and you would choose download as a PowerPoint. So that's the PPTX. And then you can do those same steps, upload it uh, and then auto open the preview. That's all you have to do to make a clickable Bitmoji Classroom. Y'all, my mind is blown. I hope yours is. Let me know in the comments. For this last part of the video, I'm not going to rehash everything I said in a previous video, but just wanted to remind you that if you're using the Bitmoji Chrome extension, that those Bitmojis will pop in on announcements or on pages or wherever you need them to go. So don't forget that you can just use basic Bitmoji with the Chrome extension to cute things up. I'll show you how to do that on the next slide. 
So this is again not a step-by-step -step on Bitmoji. It's not a step-by-step -step on announcements. I have a video on announcements and I'll make a video on Bitmoji if you need that. Let me know in the comments. Um, but this is just, if you already use Bitmoji, you already have it installed on your phone, you can also add the Chrome extension. All you do to get that is just go to the Chrome Web Store. I just always Google it. And when you go to the Chrome Web Store, you can search for Bitmoji. Mine is already added, so it says rate it, but yours would say add to Chrome if you haven't used it. Now, again, you have to have created it on your phone already, and you'd have to log in. So I've got my Bitmoji extension ready. And then anywhere, excuse me, wrong tab, anywhere in Canvas that has a rich text editor, you can paste that. So if I'm in an announcement, if I'm in a page, let me just go to a page just for the sake of it. For the sake of it. Let me go here, view all pages. Okay. I can take a Bitmoji off of here that relates to that page, relates to that topic, whatever it is, and I can just copy it and slap it right there, okay? Slap it being a technical term. <laughs> when I click on it, it's then, you know, resizable and all that. I can drag if I weren't trying to use my finger. There we go. I can drag, I can use that. So if you just want it for decoration purposes, anywhere you see this bar, your rich text editor, discussion, quiz, announcement, page, you can put it there. So just wanted to add that quick tip. Hope it was helpful. Again, don't forget to let me know if you need a Bitmoji Classroom via PowerPoint video, I'm happy to make that if there's a demand for it. Hey guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you wanna gamify, playlist for that and all of my themes of my blog. So, did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Susie Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.